Hi everyone, welcome to the Apple Business Chemistry. Now let us continue our lectures on carbohydrates, uh, part number 12. In previous case, we will discuss the like a chain elongation and the chain degradation reactions. Now in this session, Hi everyone, welcome to the Apple Resonance Chemistry. Now let us continue our lectures on carbohydrates, uh, part number 12. In previous case, we had discussed about uh, chain elongation as well as a uh, chain uh, like a degradation methods, uh, Killian Fisher, rough and old degradation methods. Now in this session, we, we will discuss about uh, like a uh, uh, ozone derivative test and HIO4, uh, periodate, uh, periodate oxidation reactions. Now, let us discuss one by one. For the first one is uh, ozone derivatives. So, ozone is uh, nothing but uh, which is used for the like a uh, preparation method, uh, like a uh, uh, precipitation method of the carbohydrates, which is used for the conformation of carbohydrate derivative test. Okay. So, carbohydrate derivative test is a uh, ozone test. Okay. Now, let us go through the ozone test. Here, CHO, CH2OH, HO3. H H O H O H O H H. So this is the like a ozone derivative test. Okay, ozone will use the like a open chain derivative test, not the cyclic chain derivative test. So ozone is nothing but a, like a phenyl hydrazine. Okay, now here it is the hydrazine NH two NH two is called hydrazine. So one of the hydrogen atom will replace it by the phenyl, then it is called phenyl hydrazine. So the three moles of a phenyl hydrazine will produce the like a ozone derivative that is a diphenyl positive derivatives. Okay, now here CH double bond N NH phenyl. Here CH double bond N, NH phenyl. So the remaining part will be same. The remaining part will be same. Now here CH2 OH, OH, H, 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 OH, OH, H. Okay. So this is called uh, like a ozone derivative. So simply which is came from the glucose, that's why it is called as glucose ozone, glucose uh, John. Okay. Now not only glucose, even the fructose also can use the same type of product, CH2 OH. Uh, and C double bond O like a um, CH two O H O H H H O H O H H. Okay, so the fructose the same three moles of phenyl hydrazine will produce the like a same type of a, uh, like a glucose ozone test glucose ozone derivative. So now this test will confirms like a fructose as well as glucose having the bottom four parts as a similar thing. Okay, so now here this bottom four parts and fructose bottom four parts are the same for the like a glucose as well as a fructose. So this test will confirmed by the glucose ozone. What is that? Glucose ozone. So glucose ozone derivative test will confirms the bottom four part of the glucose and the carbohydrate uh, like a fructose uh, as a similar structure as a similar structure. Now let us go through the like a complete mechanism of the glucose ozone derivative test. Glucose ozone derivative test. Okay, now here, so this is the carboaldehyde, like a CH2OH, HOH, sorry, OH, H, H, O, H, O, H, here the H, like here, H, O, H, H, O, H. Now, the first mole of NH2OH will treat it with uh, glucose. Now, here the loss of water molecule, here it forms the, like uh, NH2, NH phenyl. First mole of phenyl hydrazine will treat it with uh, glucose. Now, it forms the, like C double bond N, NH phenyl, here hydrogen, here H, O, H, hydrogen like this type of compound CH2OH so this is the same this is the same molecule okay the first mole of phenyl hydrazine will convert into corresponding amine corresponding amines okay now here it forms the C double bond N C double bond N okay now here this are it this undergoes the like this type of isomerization so the nitrogen negative charge will abstract the proton from CH now it converts uh, this type of isomers now the bottom part will assumed as R so now here C double bond C nitrogen having the hydrogen. Okay, now here this is the, this is also having the uh, hydrogen phenyl H. Now here OH. So the bottom part is called as R. Bottom part it is assumed as R. Okay, now here the nitrogen lone pairs will abstract the proton from oxygen atom OH. That is nothing but a hydrogen of a, a hydroxyl group. Hydrogen of the hydroxyl group. Now here it undergoes the like a hydrogen bonding. Okay, so now due to the uh, like attraction forces of nitrogen lone pairs, now the bonded two electrons will shift it towards the oxygen atom. Now it creates the C oxygen double bond, carbon oxygen double bond. Then bonded to 
electron will shift it towards the carbon nitrogen single bond then it becomes a double bond the bonded two electrons will shift it towards the nitrogen atom then it becomes n minus that n minus will obstruct the proton then it becomes nh2 so phenyl nh2 here the loss of phenyl nh2 here it forms the c double bond nh hydrogen c double bond o r dash c double bond o r dash okay now here again the second mole of glucose uh, like a phenyl hydrazine will converts into like a carbonyl compounds into corresponding amines nh phenyl here it is the c double bond nh hydrogen r okay so this is the second mole this is the like a second mole second mole of the phenyl hydrazine now the third mole of a phenyl hydrazine will converts into like a this is the amine so amines undergoing the hydrolysis reaction it produces the double bond o now here c double bond n nh phenyl so this is the r the third mole of a phenyl hydrazine so will converts the corresponding compound into ozone derivative ozone derivative so this is the simplest mechanism of uh, like a glucosozone, glucosozone test. Okay, so this is a very easier mechanism regarding to the our ozone derivative. Okay, now here in this case, here the like ozone derivative it will stops the third three moles of a uh, phenyl hydrazine. It will stop at uh, three moles of a uh, phenyl hydrazine. In ozone derivative, we use the like a uh, three moles of phenyl hydrazine. That means here it is three moles of phenyl hydrazine consumption. Okay, so three moles of phenyl hydrazines will use the like six hydrogen six nitrogen atoms. But overall, the ozone product having the only four nitrogen atom, like a like very like basic level of the entrance test, like a, a CU set, like a local university test. They are asking about um, they are asking the questions like that. Okay, in ozone, how many number of nitrogen atoms are there? Local university test. They are asking like a very uh, silly silly type of questions. Okay, now here ozone having the four nitrogen atom, but we use the three moles of phenyl hydrazine so th among the three moles of phenyl hydrazine two nitrogen atoms are lived now here one of the nitrogen atom will eliminated as aniline now another nitrogen atom will eliminated as a, like a ammonia okay here oh, it is eliminated as ammonia those two um, two groups are eliminated two nitrogen groups are eliminated so this is the simplest uh, mechanism of the ozone derivative test ozone derivative test now let us discuss the Okay, why the three moles of phenyl hydrazine will stops the ozone derivative at uh, at the stage of ozone derivative. Now here C double bond N nitrogen here is this the hydrogen. Okay, now here C is the single bond C. Now here hydrogen. So it is the double bond N double bond N. Now here nitrogen that is the phenyl hydrogen group. Here it is the phenyl. Here it is the phenyl. Okay, here it is the phenyl. It having the like a similar type of nitrogen atom. Okay, so now here the one uh, the ring uh, size is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now here these lone pair of electrons will obstruct the like a uh, hydrogen atom. That means here it undergoes the like a uh, cyclization. That is a uh, hydrogen bonding stabilization. Okay, hydrogen bonding stabilization. C double bond N. It is the hydrogen. So it is the nitrogen. Nitrogen. C double bond C, so C single bond C. Here it is the hydrogen. Here it is the R group. Now N phenyl, N phenyl, N H phenyl, N phenyl, N H phenyl. So these are undergoes the like a resonance stabilization. Resonance stabilization will produce the, these type of products. Now C double bond N, C double bond N. Now here it is N double bond N, not the C double bond N. Here it is the C single bond N. So now here it is phenyl. Here it is the N H phenyl. H okay again here it undergoes the like uh, this type of isomerization so these resonance stabilization will stop at the three moles of phenyl hydrogen consumption phenyl hydrogen consumption now let us discuss the like a uh, periodic acid reactions okay now let us discuss the like a uh, HIO4 reaction hydrogen periodic acid reactions HIO4 reaction. So generally HIO4 available in the form of like a uh, its salt NiIO4 sodium I, sodium iodine O4 
that is a sodium pyruvate sodium pyruvate so which is used for the like a carbohydrate reaction many of the carbohydrate reaction it can converts into corresponding like a formaldehydes and formic acid reactions formaldehyde as well as formic acid reactions now let us discuss the very uh, basic point of the hio4 reactions now here which is used for the like a ch2oh ch2oh that is what that is called a, like a adjacent 1 2 diols adjacent 1 2 diols that are those are called a glycals so which is used for the cleavage of glycals which is used for the cleavage of glycals not only cleavage of glycals alpha hydroxy ketones and diketo compounds also used for that okay so now the cleavage of glycals and 1 2 3 glycerols as well as alpha hydroxy ketones and 1 comma 2 diketone or diketone derivatives okay now whenever we use the like a hio4 these type of hio4 now it converts into corresponding formaldehyde derivatives corresponding formaldehyde products okay now this is the reaction now let us discuss the this mechanism very clearly now here ch2 oh now here ch2 oh now hio4 which is uh, originally available in the form of a uh, two hydrated molecule hio4 which is taken in the water molecule then it forms the hio4 with two water molecule that is present as h5io6 h5io6 that is the representation of uh, hio4 molecule hoh oh 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 this is called h5io6 moiety h5io6 moiety now let us take the those h5io6 moiety double bond o oh 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 this is the H5IO6 moiety whenever the loss of water molecule it produces the like a iodate ester iodine CH2 oxygen iodine double bond O OH 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 so this is the ester okay whenever this ester will undergoes the like a cleavage now here CC single bond is cleaved CC single bond is cleaved now here one of the OH group is eliminated along with a adjacent proton atom then it creates the double bond O okay now here CH2 double bond O plus CH2 double bond O plus now here hydrogen iodine having the i double bond o oh 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 so here the bonded two electrons will shift it towards the iodine atom then oh is eliminated oh minus will abstract the proton then these two are eliminated as water molecule now here i double bond o so i double bond o double bond o oh simply it is called as hio3 simply it is called as hio3 now we will take the hio4 will convert it into hio3 that is indicates here the plus 7 oxidation state will convert into like a plus a 5 plus a 7 oxidation state is converts into plus 5 the oxidation state decreases is called a, a like a reduction process okay itself it reduces but it oxidizes to others that's why it is called as oxidizing agent itself reduces and it oxidizes to others that's why it is called as oxidizing reagents so now here HIO4 can place the roles as oxidizing reagent oxidizing reagents can, one two diodes can convert into corresponding aldehydes now here CH2O is called as palm formaldehyde it can be also written as like this so H HC double bond OH that is called formaldehyde okay now here primary alcohols the primary alcohols of diodes can convert into corresponding uh, formaldehyde derivatives formaldehyde derivatives now let us uh, discuss about alpha hydroxy ketones alpha hydroxy ketones okay now let us go through the alpha hydroxy ketones so here it is the OH that is let us assume here it is the CH2OH okay now here which is treated with HIO4 OH double bond O OH 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 okay now here the loss of water molecule it forms the this type of structure CH2O iodine double bond O OH 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 R okay whenever the oxygen atom oxygen atom lone pairs will attack over the electrophilic center of carbonyl compound then it converts O minus C double bond O becomes C O minus that minus will abstract the proton from uh, like a same hydroxyl group atom then it becomes OH now it is appears as OH R like O iodine double bond O OH 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 oxygen atom CH2 like here it is the oxygen atom CH2 it is the oxygen atom okay now again it is cleaved the hydrogen bond iodine bond is iodine ester is cleaved now here r c now it forms the double bond o here it is the oh here it is the oh again at the bottom part are c double bond o here two moles two of the hydrogen atoms two are hydrogen atom again hio3 
plus water molecule HiO3 plus water molecule in previous case we used the primary alcohols that is in part of glycols it doesn't matter so primary alcohols will produces the formaldehydes only but here ketone compounds that is a ketone compounds will produces the corresponding carboxylic acid ketone compounds will produces the corresponding carboxylic acids now let us assume here it is the h now we will get the hcooh hcooh that is called formic acid that is called formic acid now here it is the formaldehyde formaldehyde okay now carbonyl compounds in the uh, adjacent to the alpha hydroxy uh, alpha hydroxy ketones in the part of alpha hydroxy ketones will produces one mole of formaldehyde and another mole of uh, like a carboxylic acid now let us go through the like a one two three these rolls okay now let us go through the one two three uh, like a glycerol ch2 oh ch2 oh ch2 oh in previous case we have discussed about hio for reaction so the bottom part like uh, with the bottom part here uh, okay now let us go through the complete mechanism so here h oh double bond o oh 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 okay now here it is water eliminated here it is the water eliminated CH2OH CHO iodine double bond O OH 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 O CH2O okay now here it is cleaved then it forms the corresponding formaldehyde and water molecule is eliminated so here it forms the one mole of formaldehyde C double bond OH plus CH2OH plus C double bond OH okay now here CH double bond O that is called aldehyde now again it, this is the same HIO3 plus water molecule okay now we will get the CH2OH CHO in previous case we are already discussed CH2OH and C double bond OH now again it is treated with uh, another mole of uh, uh, like a uh, HIO4 now here it, it it gives the like this type of structure CH2OH now I'll write the structure indirectly OH like a O CH O H O H okay now I'll write the, this step indirectly if you want the this step one more time please uh, 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 review on like a two to three minutes video okay now here OH OH okay so again it is cleaved then it forms the this type of derivatives CH2O that is a H H double bond O plus H C double bond O OH that means here it forms the formic acid plus HIO3 plus water molecule HIO3 plus water molecule the overall product of the glycerol two moles of formaldehyde plus one mole of formic acid one mole of formic acid so this is the overall product okay now we conclude the uh, overall products of these uh, HIO4 reactions in carbohydrates now let us conclude that so before going to the conclusion about uh, like primary alcohol and secondary alcohol now here it is the like OH simple OHS it is very faster reaction of a HIO4 so faster reactions now here it is also like a derivative OHS now it gives the like corresponding aldehydes now here it gives the like two moles of formaldehydes only now here it gives the two moles of aldehydes other than the formaldehydes now here uh, in presence of OHS like tetra derivatives uh, it gives corresponding ketones corresponding ketones now the like a carbonyl derivatives now in case of uh, aldehydes alpha hydroxy ketones now here it produces the carboxylic acid plus formaldehyde carboxylic acid plus formaldehyde here it is the formaldehyde okay now here c double bond o c double bond o r so it produces the corresponding carboxylic acids two moles of corresponding carboxylic acids so these two reactions are slow so here it is the slow reaction it is very very slow reaction whenever in the presence of hio 4 reaction now let us conclude the final overall products of the carbohydrates in carbohydrate derivatives okay now here cho in previous case we will discuss the CHO CHO will treated with HIO4 definitely it produces the formic acid undoubtedly it produces the formic acid again CH2OH CHOH like CH2OH this is the glycerol okay so the top part will convert into formal formaldehyde and bottom part also will convert it into formaldehyde but middle part will convert into corresponding formic acid corresponding formic acid that indicates this is the secondary alcohol this is the second secondary alcohol aldehydes along with secondary alcohols secondary alcohols will convert into corresponding formic acids corresponding formic acids now however the primary alcohols uh, converts into corresponding aldehydes now the final thing is carbonyl compounds carbonyl compounds will converts into co2 
so this is the overall conclusion about uh, HIO4 reactions HIO4 reactions now here this is the HIO4 reactions in presence of carbohydrates only but uh, in different cases it may be changed but carbohydrates uh, whenever we observe the CHO that is aldehyde or secondary alcohols definitely it consumes one mole of each compound one mole of each uh, for each species uh, will convert into corresponding mole of uh, formic acid if here it is one mole it is one mole then it gives the it consumes two moles of HIO4 it produces two moles of formic acid okay now here the primary alcohols one mole of primary alcohols will consume the one mole of uh, uh, pyruvic, pyruvic acid then converts into then it forms the one mole of formaldehyde now here carbonyl compounds especially fructose derivatives okay so keto excesses keto compounds will convert into corresponding CO2 derivatives CO2 derivatives now let us discuss the uh, some of the examples Okay, now let us discuss the like uh, some of the examples. Now here we know that a uh, uh, glucose derivative CH2OH. Okay, HOH, HHOH, OH, OH. Okay, now here it treats with uh, like HIO4. How many moles of uh, HIO4 will consumed? Okay, now let us take. Now here it is the like aldehyde and CHOH. Now here the first mole of a uh, CC bond is cleaved. That means here one mole of HIO4 is consumed at this point. Now again it converts into second mole. It consumes a second mole, third mole, fourth mole, fifth mole. So now here it requires uh, five moles of HIO4. Five moles of HIO4. Now we know that uh, the trick about uh, like HIO4 reaction. If it is formaldehyde, the top part is formaldehyde. So uh, sorry, top part is aldehyde. Aldehydes can convert into corresponding formic acids corresponding formic acids okay so now aldehydes can convert into corresponding formic acid with the help of one mole of HIO4 now this is the like a uh, these carbon atom that is alcohol attached carbon atom which is connected to the two moles of carbon atoms so two moles of carbon atoms it is called secondary alcohol so secondary alcohols can convert into like a uh, uh, formic acid also okay secondary alcohols can also convert into formic acid now here it is the secondary alcohol secondary alcohol secondary alcohol secondary alcohol almost all four secondary alcohol are there okay four secondary alcohols can also consumes into corresponding formic acids so four four secondary alcohols can, uh, produces the four moles of formic acid one aldehyde produces the another uh, formic acid overall five formic acids are formed five formic acids are formed now the bottom part is uh, ch2oh that is called primary alcohols as so the primary alcohols will convert into for corresponding formaldehyde so one mole of formaldehyde so glucose will treated with a uh, HIO4 it produces the five moles of formic acid and one mole of formaldehyde okay now again so fructose will treated with a uh, HIO4 okay here also like uh, it is it consumes the five moles of uh, formic acid now Top part is CH2OH, bottom part is CH2OH. Both are the primary alcohols. So primary alcohols will produce two moles of formaldehydes. Okay. Now here this is the ketone group. Ketone group can convert into corresponding CO2. So the one mole of CO2. Now again it is secondary alcohol, secondary alcohol, secondary alcohol. Three moles of secondary alcohols will produce the corresponding formic acids. Three moles of formic acid. So this is the like a uh, HIO4 reaction. Glucose will use the five moles of formic acid and one mole of uh, formaldehyde. Uh, fructose will use the two moles of formaldehyde, three moles of formic acid and one mole of carbon like a uh, carbon dioxide. Now let us assume Reus alpha. So if L aldose that is uh, L arbinose will produce how many moles of uh, HIO4? Let us uh, mention your options in comment box. Okay. Now let us go through the some other reactions of uh, HIO4. Now this is very basic reactions of HIO4 in carbohydrates. Now in this um, in this case we will discuss the very 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 important applications of HIO4 reactions HIO4 reaction now let us go through the applications of HIO4 reactions okay now let us discuss the like uh, some of the applications of uh, HIO4 reactions. The first application it is uh, uh, used for the uh, identification of ring size. It is used for the identification of uh, ring size. Now let us take the D arabinose, which is treated with a methanol in presence of HCl. It produces the methyl corresponding arabinoside. Okay, methyl arabinoside. Okay, that means here it is the arabinose CHO. So here three three chiral centers OH 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 
okay so this is the three three chiral center corresponding about uh, like a uh, aldohyd aldo pentose derivatives now which is treated with methanol in presence of hcl it produces the corresponding cyclic structures now it may be possible for the formation of uh, hoh here it is the cycle so CH2OH, H, H, O, H, 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 H. Okay, so this is the structure. This is the structure. Now, here the ring size is 1, 2, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That means the ring number size is 5, so which is closer to the like a furan derivatives, which is closer to the furan derivatives. So now, let us write the, these furan derivatives over here. Okay, furan derivatives. The first uh, first position is a HOH. This is the like uh, upside or downside. Our downside indicates alpha, upside indicates beta. Now the second one, left side, left side indicates upside. The third one is a right, uh, right side OH that indicates a downside. The next one is a HCH2OH. This is the D. That's why here it is the CH2OH. So this is the like a uh, furanose type structure. It may be possible for the formation of six member ring that is the pyranose ring. Here these OH can uh, co converts into corresponding cyclic product then in the part of cyclic product now here it forms the HOH now here it is the like corresponding product O like OH H H OH like OH H okay so this is the ring number ring size is 6 now 1 2 3 4 like CH2OH here 2 hydrogens here it is the 6 so 6 indicates a cyclic chain Okay, now the first one is alpha, it may be alpha or beta, alpha indicates bottom, beta indicates the top. Now the second position is upside, the third position is right means downside, the fourth position right also, it is also downside. The fifth position having the two hydrogen atom, that's why it is uh, uh, like a uh, left out as usually. Left out as usually. These two are the cyclic structures of uh, d arabinose will treated with methanol in presence of HCl. Okay, now we don't know whether it is five member ring or uh, six member ring. That means uh, whether it is a furanose ring or fyranose ring. Okay, now let us go through the HIO4 reactions. So if HIO4 can convert the like free OHS, free H CHOHS that is in the pot of free glycols, free glycols, it cannot convert the like acetols, it cannot uh, uh, reduce uh, oxidizes the acetols. Okay, now here it is the pot of acetol OH, so it cannot reduce, it cannot reduce again, it cannot reduce, it cannot reduce. Why? Because here there is no OH, it cannot reduce. Here it is only possible for the reduces. The furanose rings consumes only one mole of HIO4, one mole of HIO4. Now, the pyranose rings will uh, consume two moles of HIO4. Now, here it is the like a HOH, but is in the part of, part of uh, corresponding uh, OH group. Now, here it is one mole of HC, like a uh, one mole of uh, glycols. Now, here it is the another mole of glycols. So, this this carbon cannot uh, produce us. Here it is the one to diols, but it is in the form of uh, glycols. That's why it cannot reduce us. It cannot oxidize us. Sorry, it cannot oxidize us. Now, here it requires two moles of uh, Two moles of HIO4. Now here it requires only one mole of HIO4. Okay. Now here this is the reaction. d arabinose will treat it with methanol and HCl. It forms the methyl glucoside. Whether it is the furanose, furano glucoside or pyrano glucoside, uh, furano arabinoside or uh, pyrano arabinoside. We don't know. Okay. So but uh, it consumes only one mole of HIO4. That indicates here it having the furanose structure. It consumes two moles of HIO4. It is in the form of a pyranose structure. The overall final experimental data will use the information. It consumes only one mole of uh, HIO4. That indicates here it is in the form of a furanose type structure. Furanose type structure. So this is the first application method of HIO4. So here it is the one mole of consumption of HIO4. It indicates it is the furanose type structure. Furanose type structure. Now let us discuss the second application. I think it is clear. Now the second application of uh, HIO4. Okay, now let us discuss the second application of carbohydrate uh, that is uh, uh, like a HIO4 reaction. So, which is used for the classification of disaccharides, which is used for the classification of disaccharides. So, now let us discuss the like a disaccharide reaction. Before going to that, uh, let us assume that, like a glucose zone derivative. So, here it is the N NH phenyl. So, uh, at the starting of this video, we will discuss the like a ozone derivative test. Okay, now here, this is the like a ozone derivative of a glucose moiety. 
okay oxygen derivative of glucose might be whenever glucose ozone will treated with hfo4 how many moles of hfo4 will be consumed okay so this is also another important question okay now here the imines cannot reduced uh, cannot oxidized by the hfo4 here also imines attached uh, chooh also cannot uh, cannot uh, oxidized okay that's why here it is consumed here it is consumed here it is consumed only 3 moles of uh, uh, formic acid is used 3 moles of formic acid is used now ch double bond n n h phenyl c double bond n n h phenyl CHO this is the aldehyde this is the top part is converted into aldehyde now again so the bottom part here it is the secondary alcohol here it is the secondary alcohol so the two moles of formic acid is produced now the bottom part is only primary alcohol that is called HCHO that is nothing but one mole of formaldehyde one mole of formaldehyde this is the glucose zone will treated with HIO4 it produces these type of compounds now let us represent these molecule like a um, <laughs> yeah, it is a it is a term as yeah. Now this A is called mesoxaldehyde. Mesoxaldehyde, one comma two, bis phenyl hydrazine. Bis phenyl hydrazine. This is the mesoxaldehyde. Now again two moles of formic acid and one mole of uh, formaldehyde. Okay. Now. Uh, many of the many, not only many so all the monosaccharide all the monosaccharide hexoses will produces will, uh, all the hexoses will produces uh, same type of mesoxaldehyde that means uh, all the types of uh, uh, aldo hexoses uh, like aldo hexoses will produces a as well as uh, two uh, C, uh, two moles of formic acid and one mole of uh, formaldehyde so that indicates uh, c3c4 is free uh, hydroxyl group c3c4 is uh, free hydroxyl group uh, now here it is in the form of it may be possible for the cyclic ring now here it is the sixth or uh, a sixth position is a ch2oh that is the formaldehyde okay so this indicates uh, like all the aldohexoses will form the same type of uh, like a uh, ozone but uh, the bottom part is maybe changed bottom part is maybe changed now here glucose ozone derivatives disaccharides can also give the ozone derivatives especially reducing sugars can give the ozone derivatives non reducing sugars cannot give the ozone derivatives as well as cannot uh, undergoes the muta rotation okay so reducing sugars will gives the like ozone derivatives and it can undergoes the muta rotation so now among the among all the disaccharides uh, cellobiose maltose and lactose or reducing sugars we know that these three are the reducing sugars uh, sucrose is the non reducing sugars so these three it gives the ozone derivative test ozone derivatives test so these three ozone derivatives ozone derivatives cannot form so do not forms the like a it cannot it do not forms the a that indicates the top part of the chooh cannot free Okay, so here these three reagents, these three disaccharides do not form the A. That means uh, mesoxaldehyde is cannot formed. Okay, so now here it forms the formaldehyde derivatives, but it forms the formaldehyde. It forms the formaldehyde. So that indicates uh, sixth position is free from these uh, three disaccharides. Fifth, sixth position is free for three disaccharides, but uh, especially melibios. Okay, melibios, which is available from the like a uh, trisaccharide raffinose, trisaccharide raffinose will use the melibios as well as glucose. So, one mole of the uh, corresponding compound, uh, this is the disaccharide which is available from the trisaccharide. Okay, so melibios, which is uh, which gives the like a uh, corresponding ozone derivatives. Okay, but uh, it, it cannot give it, it gives the A. But it cannot give the formaldehyde. It cannot give the formaldehyde. It cannot give the formaldehyde. Let us assume. So, what is the major difference between them? Okay. Now, here these type of three hydrates, uh, three disaccharides will do not form the A, but it forms the formaldehyde. But uh, melibios, which fo which forms the melibios, ozone of the melibios, which forms the A, but uh, it do does not form the B. That is a formaldehyde. So that indicates here melibios not free from the sixth position if aldehyde produces the only primary alcohol it is not free from the sixth position that indicates here sixth linkage is present it may be linked at the sixth position it may be linked at the sixth position it is very very important thing okay don't forget it okay now again celibios maltose and lactose so these three are forms the 
HCH, uh, HCHO and again it not forms the top of the pot okay so it cannot forms the top of the pot that means uh, it may be possible for the top of the pot in the linkages okay C1. now here C3 and C4 so it may be C3 and C4 cannot uh, cannot undergo the corresponding derivatives corresponding derivatives that means uh, so these three are in the pot of C3 or C4 linkages C3 or C4 linkages. I think it is clear. Okay. So bottom part is the ozone. Now, uh, sorry, top part is the ozone. Bottom part is the primary alcohol. So if primary alcohol is produced, primary alcohol corresponding product is produced. That means uh, so third and fourth position it may be in the form uh, in in the part of uh, linkages. It may be in the part of linkages. That's why so C14 uh, linkage we observed here. Like in case of like a. Uh, uh, maltose and uh, lactose derivatives one comma four derivatives now fourth position is in the form of uh, acetals so acetals cannot cleave in the presence of hao4 that's why so three and four cannot use the corresponding product it is clear okay so now it uh, melibios will uh, will produce as the sixth position will cannot produce as the formaldehyde that indicates sixth position is in the part of uh, uh, glycosidic linkage in the part of corresponding glycosidic linkage this is the second application of the disac uh, like a uh, hio4 reaction now let us discuss the final thing of the uh, hio4 i think this is very important Okay, before going to the final application, now let us discuss the like Melibios structure. So now Melibios details. So Melibios, it is also in the uh, another another like disaccharide. We are discussing the four disaccharides: uh, sucrose, uh, uh, maltose, silibios, and lactose. Now this is the fifth disaccharide. Okay, so it is the reducing sugar. It is reducing sugar. It undergoes the like ozone uh, muta rotation. It undergoes the muta rotation and it gives the ozone derivative test. Ozone derivative test. Now, which is available from the like ripenose. So, uh, hydrolysis of ripenose it gives the melibase and the another part of uh, uh, like another part of the uh, another uh, monosaccharide. Now, melibase in the presence of hydrolysis it gives the one D glucose and another mole of D galactose. D glucose and D galactose. Okay, so this is the very simple thing regarding to the millibios details, millibios introduction. Now, trisaccharides. So, trisaccharides are two types one is uh, reducing sugar uh, trisaccharides and non reducing sugar trisaccharides. So, reducing sugar trisaccharide uh, like a manano pyrose, uh, manano triose, again a non reducing sugar raffinose and gentineos. Gentineos. Okay, manino triose is the reducing sugar, raffinose and gentineos is the non reducing sugar, non reducing sugar. This is the like trisaccharides reducing and non reducing properties. In disaccharides, except sucrose, all are the reducing sugars. So, sucrose is the non reducing sugar. Now, non reducing sugars can undergo the like a HIO4 reaction. What will happen? Now, we know that uh, structure of the like a uh, sucrose here it is the structure of sucrose. So, uh, however, whatever the structure doesn't matter. So, here it is the like a CH2OH, OH, OH, like a CH2OH, doesn't matter. Here it is the OH, 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 CH2OH. This is the structure of sucrose. Structure of, we know that sucrose will treat it with HIO4. So, HIO4. 5 member ring, fluoronose ring it consumes 1 mole, 6 member ring it consumes 2 moles due to the like uh, non availability of acetals, free uh, free glycols. Okay, here the presence of uh, acetals it cannot available in the form of uh, free glycols. That's why here it consumes only 1 mole over here, it consumes 2 moles over here. Okay, uh, like a uh, pyronose rings will give the 1 mole of formic acid, fluoronose gives cannot give the formic acid. Okay, now the final overall product is here it, it converts into corresponding aldehyde. Okay, now let us write the uh, same molecule over here. Oxygen, here it is the like corresponding aldehyde. Here it is the corresponding aldehyde. Now here it is the CH2OH. O corresponding CH2OH and O. Here it is the aldehyde. O like a CH, CH2OH. Now here it is the CHO. Here it is the CHO. So here it consumes three moles of HIO4. It consumes three moles of HIO4. Again, it treated with a uh, furtherly. It undergoes the like bromine water, uh, uh, like a bromine water reaction. It gives the corresponding reactions like a CHOOH, like a CHOOH, CH2OH. 
okay now here this is the part now here cho it undergoes the like a bromine water hydrolysis it can use the cho it can convert into coh now here cho and cho both c uh, like a uh, both coh will use the corresponding aldehyde derivatives corresponding aldehyde derivatives now here it undergoes the like a uh, cho CHO can convert into corresponding carboxylic acid. Now here OH and OH will convert into ketone. Now it produces the CH2OH as usually. Okay. Now again it can convert into CHO will convert into COOH. Now here CHOH. Okay, the final thing is a CH2OH. Final thing is CH2OH. It furtherly undergoes the bromine water hydrolysis. It gives the corresponding derivatives. Corresponding derivatives. So this is the sucrose will undergo the HIO4 reaction if it which produces this type of a product. Again, furtherly it undergoes the bromine water reaction. It produces this type of a four byproducts. Now here it consumes three moles of HIO4. So one mole consumed at the part of a five member ring and two moles consumes at the part of a six member ring in six member ring it produces the one mole of formic acid this is the major thing okay so that's all for this video this is very helpful for the like a csar gate net a piece set like a local in a local state sets as well as je mains and advanced need students it is very helpful for the m set of the local local states okay so don't forget these reactions it is very 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 important reactions okay that's all for this video thank you so much for watching